Yeah, I do. Let go, I think. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Steven Turner and today we're going to be covering the floating worm. Stay tuned. Floating worm. Basically, it's one of those techniques that a lot of people forget about. A lot of people are like, you know, that's a beginner technique. But I'm not here to tell you, I mean, when the going gets tough, this technique can catch a lot of fish. A lot of numbers. I mean, and in the springtime, this technique can really, really catch the big ones. Uh, one of the MLF tournaments this year, I mean, nine and ten pounders were caught on pink and uh, magenta and white floating worms. So, definitely something you need to keep. But especially for summertime fishing, uh, going down the bank, especially if you have kids, trust me. I have five kids, and if I'm going to take them fishing, and... I take the younger ones or the, the middle age ones and I mean nine out of ten times they're gonna be throwing a floating worm or a Texas rig because I mean it's weedless you're not gonna get hung up as much pretty much at all if you keep a check on your worm so I'm gonna show y'all how I rig it up for a beginner there is an advanced one you can use a swivel to keep out the line twist but for kids or somebody that don't know how to fish real well, this is what I would do. So, got a three out extra wide gap hook. Now you got to take into consideration, guys. The hook you use actually matters. The hook you use is going to give the worm a different presentation when you're ripping it through the water as it falls. How fast it's going to fall and how much under the water it's going to fall. If you want it to stay on top of the water, you want to use a lesser gauge hook. And if you want it to be under the surface, you want to use a bigger hook. So, I'm do a clinch knot. I have a video on that. If you haven't watched it already, I think it, two videos ago, I want to say, something like that. Just do a little clinch knot right here on this 3 aught hook. Alright, now you're going to take... Whichever worm you want, I mean, you can use a stick worm, a trick worm, it, it really don't matter. But, 9 out of 10 times you want, like, a zoom trick worm. That uh, This is a white floating worm. Now, if you're going to do on the top water, I would get a floating worm. They have pretty much in, like, white, pink, uh, magenta, which is like a bright orange. I think it's called magenta. It's some M word, I don't know. Now, what you going to do? Now, now here's the trick guys the further you go down on this nose like say if I go all the way here and then take the hook out so it looks like this right here that's gonna cause it to come up faster in the water the more head room you got above the hook because the, hooks, the, the line ties right here. So you got this much on the line. And every time you twitch it, it's going to pull up. So if you want it on top of the water, you want to give it more, more space in the head. But if you want it to be under the water a lot more, you just want to give it just a little bit like that. And it's just a basic weedless Texas rig. Now, you can either, if you're fishing around a lot of cover... You can do it just like that, where it's in the body and not out at all. That way, if you, if you say you got a kid fishing, you can throw it out there, and they can throw in a tree. They can throw in a daggum, uh, I don't even know, a, bo a boogamont stood out there, and they ain't going to get hung up in it. But, for a better hookup for kids, you want to take your hook and measure it. See right there where I'm measuring it? That's how far the hook should be. Well, it's not in the head right now. Alright. So there, there's how far the hook should be. So you want to tap that with your finger. And then you'll go right below it and go all the way through. And then you can just skin hook it. Right there. 
I mean, with a floating worm, it really doesn't have to be perfectly straight, which, I mean, also, like I said, guys, it's great for kids because, I mean, my kids personally, they don't check their worm every time they throw. So, <laughs> what, I, what I rig mine up on is spinning gear, which you can use a little button reel for a kid. I mean, a bait caster, but this is a seven foot lose. I want to say medium. No, it's a 6.6 six lose. 6.6 six lose. Medium. On a 6 to 2 gear ratio reel. It's an Xfinity. And the thing with a floating worm, you really just... There, there's two main ways I fish one. And the first one is, if I'm going down the bank, I will throw it into the cover. And let it float and when you get a little bit of slack in your line a twitch up or a twitch to the side so you want to take your tip and twitch up or twitch to the side and that worm oh let me grab the worm and your worm's gonna either do this motion when you twitch up or it's going to dart dart this way you twitch again it darts this way and the same vice versa darts this way darts this way then you pause and that worm is going to be in the water going down you twitch up normally on that fall or when you pause it is when they're going to get it now you want to be the reason i use bright colors is one you get more bites of bright colors for some reason and two, you can see your worm in the water. And seeing your worm in the water means when you see your worm disappear, set the hook. So if I'm watching my worm going in the water, the bass is going to come up and take it. It's not going to be a blow up unless you're, you're fishing it really fast on top. They're going to come up behind it and just take it. And then you set the hook on them. Or if you skin hook it like this... <laughs> 90% of the time, you just really got to reel into them, kind of like a swim bait. Because when they got it in their mouth, this is going to collapse, and that hook's going to be exposed. And it's really just a soft set, which is really good with a spinning rod, because it's really hard to get this hook through a piece of plastic with a spinning rod unless you jerk the absolute crap out of it. But there you have it, guys. That's the floating worm great technique for beginners kids and advanced techniques for people that's out there every single day pro fishermen anything i mean a floating worm flat out catches them year round it doesn't matter if it's spring summer fall winter you can catch them on a floating worm as always guys take a kid fishing and if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content hit that subscribe button for me